I, 24 female, broke up with my boyfriend, 25 male, of four years after the worst day of our lives. He is calling me cruel. Am I being unreasonable? Do I owe this man a conversation? About a month ago, I broke up with my boyfriend of four and a half years. Just a few days beforehand, we had discussed marriage and kids. The day of the breakup, he got belligerently drunk sexually assaulted my best friend, and then put both of our lives in danger. I won't go into detail, but later on he said that he was thankful that I didn't call the police on him. I broke up with him that night and had his brother pick him up from my house. He claims to not recall anything that happened due to being blacked out drunk. Like I mentioned, previous to this day we had a great relationship, but once I broke things off, I realized how toxic it was. I was codependent on him and my only priority was his happiness and safety. I was fearful of him and tiptoed around topics that he was sensitive to, mainly having to do things with stability like, when would you get a job? When will we move in? What plans do you have for the future? When we broke up, it's like the goggles were off and I was seeing the relationship for what it truly was. The day after the breakup, he was blowing up my phone asking why I had broken up our four and a half year relationship over one bad day. I asked for space and we didn't talk for a week. At the end of the week, we had a 20 minute phone call conversation where I explained why this relationship was toxic for the both of us and how we neglected parts of ourselves to force it to happen, like two puzzle pieces that don't fit. By the end of the phone call, we were on the same page and agreed that we didn't need to have further conversations about the relationship. Over the past two weeks or so, he has kept messaging me, begging me to get back together and bringing up all of the different ways that he will change. I would reply and keep the message short and to the point that we would not be getting back together. Last night really irritated me because he said I was being cruel for being short with him and not willing to discuss further why our relationship went downhill so quickly. He also said that he would be blocking my cell phone and overall just made me feel like crap. Do I owe him a conversation? I can't help but feel lousy about how things ended even though it was perhaps the most fearful day of my life. Mm, I'm still struggling with the fact that regardless of who it is, if someone essays your best friend, wait, I'm I'm still trying to get over the fact he essayed your best friend and no one called the police at all. There's no coming back from that. Absolutely not. Am I wrong for blowing up at my pregnant wife and putting my foot down after her blow up? We are renting a two bedroom house from an older man and we'll call him G for this. I don't know how to really describe G, but older retired military is the closest. This man has been nothing but kind to us, far more than either of our parents have been. We live in California and the average rent in our area is around 2,600 for a two bedroom. At first we were a bit skeptical because the house was advertised, but G wanted to meet the tenants personally before anything else. The listing stated 2,500, but was also stated negotiable. We met with G and I don't know if he liked us or felt sorry because we told him our story, but he offered us the place for 1,600. Any problems we have ever had throughout the six years me and my wife have lived in the house was fixed within 48 hours. G is the landlord everyone wishes they had. He isn't money hungry and if rent is a bit late, he understands as long as you keep him informed. We haven't had any issues with him in six years. I have asked him why he is renting the house to us so cheap and his story broke my heart. He bought the house for his daughter a couple of years before we moved in, but unfortunately she and her fiance died in a car crash and he couldn't find the heart to sell it, but also just doesn't want it to stay empty. Wow. So sad. My wife is currently five months pregnant. G had some health scares, so we haven't seen him for the last six months. He came over the day before yesterday to tell us that he is healthy again and will again take up the care responsible so if anything is needed to give him a call. He saw my wife and obviously the belly and asked how far along she was and we told him and he just had the smile from ear to ear and said, congratulations. Before he walked off, he said kids are expensive, so as a baby gift to me, let's make the rent an even 1000 until the baby is born. Oh my god, G is a gonsa. He's an angel. <gasps> what? Please tell me that she's not going to blow up at G because that's going to make me so sad. I can see why you would get mad at her. I have no idea why, but for some reason, this set my wife off completely. She started yelling at G, calling him an old man that is looking down on us and that he can take his useless gift and shove it up his ass. She was yelling for like three minutes and every time I tried to stop her, she would get louder and louder. I don't know what got into my wife, but at the end of her rant, she said, if you really want to gift us something for our baby, you should not let us pay rent at all, you stupid f***ing old man. That is what you call a gift. Oh my god. Dude, that's wild. That is so out of line. Damn. G took everything she said and didn't say a word back. His face just went from happy to completely emotionless. After my wife was done, he just left. I blew up on my wife and asked her what the f 
she was thinking as Jean never did anything wrong to us. She started to cry and refused to talk to me the rest of the night. Every time I brought it up, she would start crying, but I caught onto the crocodile tears and told her to just stop because I want an explanation. Yesterday morning, before I left for work, I told her she better be ready because ready or not, when I get home, we will talk about what happened and I will not accept her fake tears. I got a text from G telling me we have to talk. He asked to meet at the house at 5 and I agreed. We met up at the house and he asked to come in. We sat in the living room and he asked if my wife could join us and she did. He didn't ask why. What happened? Nothing. All he did was lay out what will be happening going forward. He said the gift will no longer be happening and he'll expect the full rent at the end of the month, no excuses. He said the rent will stay $1,600 until our lease is up for renewal, which is ending at the end of this year. And when the lease is over, we are more than welcome to renew then he'll be charging us the market rate for the house. That is more than a $1,000 increase. I tried to talk to him, but he refused to listen and then just walked out of the house. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Like your wife was a complete biatch. Like I would be pissed too. My wife was white as a ghost in the couch and stammered, what are we going to do? Because she knows an $1,000 increase in the rent will lead us back to living on paycheck to paycheck. My paycheck is enough to cover literally every single bill until my promotion in 14 months. I blew up and told her this shit is her doing. She asked me to run after G and try to talk to him. G is refusing and the only message I got back was to please contact me if it has something to do with the house, not for any personal matters as our relationship will only be strictly landlord and tenant. That is it. My wife is frantically trying to call G and apologize, but he isn't answering her calls. She knows her part-time paycheck might not be enough and I told her we will need to downsize and she is not happy. I'm not happy with my wife at all and she's calling me an because I'm mad at her. $1,000 doesn't sound like a lot for some, but for me, it is a lot of money. My wife's paycheck would not have been touched for rent or anything, but now it has to as I told her she will have to cover that $1,000 if she wants to stay in this house as I refuse to take up longer hours or more shifts. She is devastated because her part-time job salary might not be enough and she will have to go back to full-time work. The situation sounds rough, I know, but like I said, I am up for a promotion at work for my manager's job when he retires in 14 months. I am assured the job and have it in writing. The increase is enough for my wife to only do part-time work, but that will be in 14 months. And she has to cover the missing grand for the rent as I'm refusing. I don't want to move, but if she isn't covering the missing grand, then we'll have to. Your wife just shot your family in the foot. She the big time. You will not find landlords like that, especially in California. Especially in today's economy, every month, every year when your lease is up, they raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it. When you have a good landlord, good landlords will treat good tenants well. That's why he really liked you guys and he kept that money. You guys were respectful, but you, she like, that was like, a, not even a little blow up, but she said some really up shit. I honestly dead ass think she broke that old man's heart and good for him for not just evicting you guys or blowing up because that's what I would have done. And the worst part is I think he saw you guys as the children he lost because he lost his daughter and her fiance and you guys moved in right after that and you guys were having a kid. I think he was, you know, kind of living life through you guys and seeing if his daughter was alive, that would have been her too. And for you guys, not for you guys, but for your wife to show him the way that she did, messed up. Also, isn't it ironic that sh your wife thought a discount on rent was a sign of pity, but offering free rent would have been a real gift. Not rational at all. Damn. Secrets are never forever. How do I deal with this? I'm 56 female and my husband, 55 male, have two children, 27 son and 30 daughter, four grandchildren. We've been married for 32 years. I want to keep this as short as possible, but I am so scared of what's going to happen with our lives now that this secret has come out. My son came and saw me a week ago. My husband was at work. We sat down and I knew something was wrong and I was concerned for him. I told him to just tell me what the problem was and we'll sort through whatever it was. He said he didn't know how to start, so he'll just put it all on the table and see what I have to say. I was getting very concerned at this stage, never thinking that what he would tell me could destroy our lives. My son told me that he took an ancestry DNA test because like his dad, he was interested in genealogy and he wanted to show his kids where they came from and the history. It still hadn't clicked at that stage. I thought that it came back with medical issues that may be present and express my thoughts. No, mom, he said, that isn't the problem. The problem is that dad has no common DNA. I started shaking and went into shock. He asked if dad knows. I told him no. I didn't know until now. The secret I had kept for 28 years is no longer a secret. I knew that my son could have been a product of a mistake I had made early on in my marriage, but when he was born, he looked so much like my husband that I dismissed it and convinced myself that he was his. The mistake slash bad choice was when we were going through a tough time with my husband working long hours and we were struggling to get a deposit for a house. We were also trying for a second child. One of my husband's friends was in our lives and he was going through a breakup and we were trying to be supportive. My husband was at work and his friend and I were drinking and just talking about life. We got drunk and yes, we did the deed. I can't even remember it and the next morning his friend and I were both mortified and vowed to never bring it up again. It was such a long time ago, I can't even really remember it. Well, I felt pregnant and here we are.
My husband is such a loving man and our marriage has always been so strong. My son wants me to tell him as he will find out soon through ancestry. How do I proceed? I'm disgusted that this is going to destroy my husband, my entire family. I know I was a POS back then for what I did. I cannot erase that, but the hurt that we're all going to go through, I cannot fathom. My husband has not found out yet, but I have to tell him before he finds out. 